Hello, and welcome to Mindset Mondays with DTK. This is episode number 84, an ongoing series of live broadcasts designed for those with a growth mindset or those who'd like to create one. It's an opportunity to play with new ideas, new concepts, and try on new mindsets. All right, so now that everyone can hear me, and thank you for staying on until we got the sound difficulties done, the quote that we get to play with today is this one. This is one of mine. Being listened to feels so much like being loved. People can scarcely tell the difference. And, and this is another one where I love when it sounds obvious, because that means that it's not. <laughs> that the idea that being listened to, just pausing, and hearing someone, right? We live in a, a time poor, attention poor, connection poor world. And sadly for most of us, that's the world that we live in, that's our experience. Too many things to pay attention to, let alone get them done, right? And in too little time, there never seems to be enough time to just sit still, pause, and be connected to the ones we love, right? So. Back about 15 years ago, there was a movie called Crash. And in the opening scenes of the movie, we hear the narrator say, sometimes we just crash into each other so we can feel something. All right, so if you've ever worked with me, if you've he ever heard me speak in public, <coughs> you've probably heard me say that being listened to feels so much like being loved that people can scarcely tell the difference. People crave human connection. Now look, there's no substitute for it. We're actually, as a species, as humans, we are wired for it. And yet, how infrequently do we just slow down and connect? How often do we really feel listened to, feel received, feel truly heard? More importantly, how often do you stop? and fully listen to someone, fully hear them, truly see them. So I got a story, and this is, Danny was a client of mine, and this goes back a couple of years. Danny was a senior manager operating at a state level for a publicly traded utility company. And I had been hired because to coach him because after 30 years in management, Danny had gotten some feedback that sort of flipped him out, right? Danny has an imposing physical figure, but he's really just a giant teddy bear. But the feedback he got is that some of the people who worked for him were actually scared of him and his reputation was preceding him. And as departments were being consolidated from you know over a hundred down to just three, People were scared to end up working for him. And Danny wanted a coach. Danny wanted to figure out how to, how to shift this unintended impact. So we had a chance for a quick meeting on Thursday before our scheduled discovery that was going to kick off on Tuesday. Well, the challenge is when Danny and I got on a phone call, so I knew about the feedback. But when we got on the phone call, Danny also told me what the plan was for Friday. The day after our little pre-call, Danny was going to spend the day telling over 125 people whether they either had a job in the new formed organization, uh, being offered a free re an early retirement, or whether there was no job for them. Now, Danny was pretty sure that most of those people were terrified. They knew something was coming. He knew he was terrified, right? So we stopped everything that was on our agenda and that's what we focused on, is how we're gonna deal with the next day. And I asked Danny what he wanted for those people. To imagine himself sitting across the table from the first person Friday morning that he was gonna to have to let know no longer had a job. And we spent some time helping Danny focus on what he wanted for them. And as we started that piece of the process, Danny's first comment was he wanted them to know they were okay. One wanted them to know that they were 
loved. That comes from the core of who Danny is as a person. And that's truly, I believe, what he wanted for them. And don't get me wrong, Danny was still very anxious going into Friday. But instead of, as the HR protocol would have it, sitting in the room with the HR person, waiting for each person to be escorted in to find their fate, Danny went to each of the people that was going to be brought into the office. And when it was their turn, he walked over to them, greeted them, said good morning, invited them to come back into the office with him. And he walked into the room with them where the HR person was already waiting. He treated them like people. He treated them the way he would want to be treated. And they sat down, yes, on opposite sides of the table. And he read through the bit that he had to read through. He said, this is the part that I have to tell you. And then he listened. And he took his time with each person. And he asked questions and he listened. And when Danny and I got together on Tuesday, he told me was every one of the people who found out they no longer had a job and several of the people who found out they did, to a one, he got a hug as they walked out of the office. And, and what lit Danny up was not that he got the hug. It was what that said about where that person was and what they were feeling and how they were experiencing that terrible news. He kept focused on what he wanted for them, and he listened. He truly listened, and those people felt loved. Amy Kay, who's a leadership consultant, I had the chance to, to hear speak. She said, leadership happens one conversation at a time. And as a leader, you set the tone for that conversation. What Danny demonstrated was leadership. And, and to this day, Danny talks about that as one of the greatest leadership lessons he's received. The experience of listening to these folk, having them felt heard, felt witnessed, and it shifted their experience dramatically. Now, I don't think any one of them was happy to find out they didn't have a job, but they were certainly far more comfortable in their experience of it and didn't feel like it was a mechanical process. They felt like they were treated like human beings. How often in our world do we not slow down enough to hear other people, to truly listen, to witness them for who they are and experience the humanity of who that person is, how would things in your world change if you stopped and listened? Now, it's interesting, the coaches that I work with, it's very often with new coaches when I'm, I'm working with people that are in certification, they're still caught up in what's the next best question to ask? What am I working on? What's the thread that's going on in the client's head? They're thinking about what they're saying next while they're listening to the client. It's very hard to be in that level one, to be thinking what's next while you're listening to the client. And there's an acronym that I was taught as an early coach. It's WAIT, W-A-I-T. Why am I talking? <laughs> and remembering that and paying attention, fully putting yourself over in what the other person is saying, hearing the fullness of that experience in that person changes what you can hear. And so I, I, it got me wondering, who, who are the people, and for you, it got me wondering for the folk who listen to this and, and who hear these recordings, who in your world longs to be listened to? What difference will that make in your relationships when you stop and truly listen fully to whoever you're in connection with. <laughs> How will wait? Why am I talking? <laughs> How can that change the way you relate 
to your children, to your partners, to your parents, to your business partners, to your colleagues, to your employees, to the person checking you out at the grocery store. What connection are you missing? What impact are you surrendering by not listening? We're all caught up in our own experience of the world. We're human. <laughs> and there's a whole world that's rich and going on inside of our heads as we go through our day. Yes, true, that won't change. It's not that you surrender any part of your experience. In fact, you enrich your experience by being in connection with someone else. So this week, listen more. Be in connection more, love people more. Being listened to feels so much like being loved. People can scarcely tell the difference. So this week, go out and love people. And between now and next Monday, what mindset will you choose?